Hey everyone, welcome back. In this SQL tutorial, we will quickly understand what is SQL, what are databases with real life examples so that you can understand them in very basic terms as well as in case you are facing any interview and somebody asks you about what is a structured query language or what is database, you should be able to answer them with real life examples, correlating them with the software examples. So first thing we need to understand what is SQL. So SQL stands for structured query language. Now as the name suggests it is the query language to query or communicate the with the databases. So databases like MySQL, Microsoft SQL Server, DB2 etc. Now these databases that are there out in the market you need some sort of language to basically fetch the data from these databases and that's where structured query language SQL is used to communicate with the databases and get the right information that you need right so you write the query that go to this database and fetch me this particular information so it's basically you providing some instruction to get the data uh, to get the data out of the database okay so that's what the structured query language is in very basic term now what is database now database is an organized collection of structured data right now data is anything right so data is anything say for example in a library the books are the data right that are stored into different compartments they are organized right in your kitchen you have the data which is basically you you could be having rice or different you know pulses etc so all that things that are stored in your kitchen is sort of a data that is stored in different containers and different compartments. Similar is true with the grocery shopping. So you go to supermarket, you will see that the data or the objects or the material is organized in very organized form so that it's easy for you to go ahead and find. So database is basically an organized collection of structured data uh, for easy access and management. So you can easily go ahead and access and manage the the data um, in real scenarios you can consider library as a database right which is which contains the structured data which is basically contains the book so you know if I go to library I'll get the journals I'll get something to re read there I'll get newspaper I'll get books of different kinds right it's basically you know a structured collection of data there that you can go ahead and read within the library similarly in supermarket you have the grocery you have anything related to food items you will get into the grocery store so these can be considered or in real scenarios you can consider a grocery store as a database of grocery items library as a database of reading items right so that's what the database in real life is now when we co come to the software space say for example you are one of the employee within the organization right so your information your first name last name date of birth any information that is being stored or any attribute or any information about you or any other person in the organization is the data right that's the data and that is stored into the databases now in the software you store this information into the databases like mysql or microsoft sql server then the question arises you could store this information into the excel sheets as well so that that could be a database as well so in a way yes it is a database as well because you can organize your data in excel sheet but database is much more than excel sheet right so in a way just to hypothetically you know understand that yes it's it contains organized set of data you can retrieve data from excel sheet as well but database are much more than that they are built to tackle the complexity say for example excel sheet is more of you know for just your use one or two users using that excel sheet and retrieving the data and updating it it's more of a manual effort there databases thousands and thousands of records being stored there retrieved and updated so when it increases up to that level of complexity then that's where the databases come in picture so briefly a database is an organized collection of structured data for easy access and management and it is usually a collection of one or more tables so basically when we talk about mysql microsoft sql server db2 any there are so many databases out there 
So you will create the database, then you'll create tables and these tables will contain the rows and columns and these rows and columns will actually contain the data within these rows and columns. Say for example, employee information will be a table, right? So employee information can be a table which will look like a spreadsheet when you search for that particular data, right? So the, the display on the screen will be something like a spreadsheet. So first name, last name, a date of birth. So all that column will be there and within those columns will be the employee information the first name of the information the last name the date of birth etc okay so this is a brief about the sql and database now let's quickly go back to the real life example and see how sql helps to fetch the data from the databases right so if we take this particular example so these are three examples that i have taken is basically the library this is the library database you can consider right uh kitchen and grocery now library is a database where all the books journals any reading data or reading items are present right so your mom say for example you you came back to home and your mom asked you to go to the library and go to the history section of the library and bring a particular book right so that statement provided by your mom can be considered as a query language that you understood that you can understand right because these are the instructions given to you by your mom right in in the same language that you both understand so you understood what mom said which is structured query language because she has clearly explained you sometimes if you are a naughty child you might might not pick up everything because you are busy in something else but most of us are not because we know the consequences afterwards so we understood it or you understood us understood the statement that mom made I understood it that is the structured query language because my mom said go to the library or go to this particular suburb library go to that history section and bring this book this is the statement this is structured query language or structured statement that my mom made to me so I'll go to that suburb library go to the history section and try to find that book if I'll get it I'll return back home and I'll give that book to my mom if I don't get it in that particular section I'll just say sorry mom I couldn't find it there right so that's the query language that is being um, that's the statement or the query language made by my mom understood by me and I fetch the data if I found it if I couldn't found it uh, I, I came back and provided no that's that there's nothing no such book that I can can find in the library similar is true for kitchen you are helping your mom in the kitchen she provides very clear instruction yes Manish go back to this particular you know drawer um, second from the last and get me turmeric okay so these are some of the st statements which are very clearly made by moms and that's why i've taken the example of mom because they they make real real clear statements and if you're not able to find the items even after such clear statements then you are not understanding the query language made by your mom so these are some of the structured query language made by your mom so you understand your statements made by your mom as a structured query language and the library the kitchen the grocery as the databases where you will get the data requested by your mom okay so these are some of the examples that i can think of i thought it will be you know good for you to also understand databases and structured query language with, with these examples so that you can explain them easily and understand them easily and explain in your interviews okay third example is about the grocery you have been instructed to follow the query or the statements given by your mom you've got the list this these are the items you have to go ahead and buy so n number of examples try to correlate with the real examples and databases and sql will be a breeze and very easy thing to go ahead and start learning it's real fun I can assure you that and I'll try to make it a lot more fun and try to make it simple as much as I can. So this is the starting point. Do not miss the initial couple of videos so that you grasp all the related concept when we move to the advanced to the software to the writing as actual SQL queries. You can actually correlate to the real examples that I'm taking in couple of initial videos and can then learn SQL with very easy examples and can also crack any SQL interview. All right. So that's all for this tutorial on introduction to SQL and database with examples. I hope this was helpful. Thank you very much for watching.